Hello this is KYC News. We provide you with the most up-to-date and reliable information for the day. First and foremost, we want to achieve perfect health with a sincere desire. Why houses on Greek islands are blue and white? The distinctive architecture of well-known locations all around the world, such as Mykonos and Santorini, makes it easy to identify these places in photographs. Photographs are frequently taken by influential people in front of the whitewashed residences with blue accents and doors that dot the islands. But why are the houses on Greek islands often painted blue and white? Blue and white are the traditional colors of Greece, and many people know them as such. These are the colors that are used for the flag. They are also the colors of the clear blue sky and the azure waters that are characteristic of the stunning Mediterranean. However, the characteristic blue and white coloring of dwellings on the Cycladic Islands is not based on the meaning of the colors anywhere else in Greece. In point of fact, this distinctive feature of the architecture of Greek islands can be traced back to a number of different influences, the majority of which were primarily motivated by the need to address functional concerns. Keeping residences on islands cool and comfortable throughout the hot summer months. Stone was the primary building material for the majority of the homes on islands such as Mykonos, Paros, and Naxos when they were first constructed. This was a reasonable choice to make given the rocky nature of the Aegean island region where there was very limited availability of wood. The stones, on the other hand, were almost always a dark tint. This provided a challenge during the hot summer months in Greece. The black stones inside the homes would soak up the sunshine that fell on them from above, turning the interiors into intolerably warm environments. The inhabitants therefore began painting the stones white in an effort to reduce the amount of heat that was trapped within their homes. The approach was successful, as seen by the consequence of island homes that are cooler and more pleasant. What role did cholera play in the development of home design? Then, in 1938, a national order hastened the spread of this newly developed style for design. During the time when Ioannis Metaxas was dictator of Greece, the country was in the midst of a cholera epidemic. He gave the residents of the town instructions to paint their houses in an effort to reduce the spread of the disease. Limestone was a component of the whitewash that was used to paint the houses back then. This may strike some people as odd in today's context. Limestone is an effective disinfectant, and at the time, there were not many many alternative options available for widespread use. The inhabitants of Greece therefore whitewashed their houses in an effort to help sterilize them and minimize the spread of cholera. What do you think of the blue paint that is commonly used on houses on Greek islands? Even though blue is the most prevalent accent color for doors and shutters on the Cycladic Islands, blue is not the only one. Other colors can be found. In point of fact, if you wander around on many different islands, you will see that in addition to blue, there are hints of other colors like red, green, and brown. Despite this, the bright blue color continues to predominate throughout the Cycladic landscape. Why would it be the case? The bottom line is that money is the deciding factor. When fishermen and other men who worked on the water were through painting their boats, they would use whatever paint was left over to paint their home's windows and shutters. In addition, because of the components that went into its manufacture, blue paint was typically the least expensive color to produce. Limestone and an ancient Greek cleaning substance known as lulaki were mixed together to make the blue paint that was used in the homes on the Greek islands. 
Lulaki was a type of blue talcum powder that the majority of island residents kept readily available in their homes. Because of this, the production of blue paint was one of the simplest colors for them to achieve. The military dictatorship that rules the Greek islands is responsible for enforcing the color scheme. During the military dictatorship that Greece was subjected to when it was taken over by the military in 1967, the houses on the islands were required to be painted in their characteristic bright colors. The administration had the belief that the colors were emblematic of Greek identity and would stimulate feelings of patriotism among the populace. In the end, in 1974, a law was enacted that required all houses on Greek islands to be painted in the traditional blue and white color scheme. Despite the fact that these restrictions have been eased up on as of late, the blue and white colors that characterize the Greek islands have been a major magnet for tourists. As a result, a lot of people on the island decide to keep them. In the end, this is due to the fact that the practical reasons they began utilizing these hues, as well as the fact that they are beneficial to tourism, are what prompted the change. Today, Tourists may readily discover houses on the Cycladic Islands that have the original earth-colored stones or stones of a tint that is only slightly different from those colors. On the other hand, blue and white continue to predominate in the design of Greek islands, as well as in the picture that people all over the world have of Greek islands.